Hello and welcome everybody. I hope that you're good and not only is it Valentine's Day, hence the headpiece in sort of Zoe Two Dots fashion and the pinkest shirt I own from Worlds 2022 in London. Enamorous is here in Elite Raids and we've got a squad of five in inverted commas, shall I just say. We've got probably three that we can go and hit. This is Elite Raids, it's in-person raids only and let me know if you were able to do any, how it went for you, if so, because Enamorous, it seems, with Fairy Wind and Dazzling Gleam, is set to be the number one non-shadow, non-mega fairy type attack in the game. Technically as good as, pretty much, Shadow Gardevoir, which is insane. And I'm going to hit ready on it, and we'll see how this all goes. Okay, there is Enamorous. In the game, it's a Hisuian legendary. I'm using the wrong move on my uh, on my circuitry. I should be using electric. So we'll see if we're going to get anything good. 1957 would be the normal hundo, and we're going to be looking for 2447 off the top of my head for the windy boost that we have. And I would love to get a good one of these. I'm very tempted to lucky trade one of these, possibly around the global Sinnoh tour. Don't worry if you're unable to get elite raids because they're EX gym only. Not everybody has EX gyms, and not everybody has an in-person community and not everybody has the luxury of just doing in-person raids. It will come into the regular tier fives at some point, probably in the not too distant future. I'd want to say maybe summer, because if you remember, Regieleki and Regidrago were March and April of 23, and they popped into the raid cycle, I think in July. They aren't particularly usable in Pokemon Go, to be said. This thing has a lot more usability. We're not worried about the extra spawns where you get Jigglypuff and Clefairy popping up afterwards and Fletchling. And if you haven't done so already, please, Go and throw a like down on the video and do subscribe if you are new as well. I would hugely appreciate your support. And I'll see you in LA. We're flying out tomorrow. Oh my goodness me. We're nearly done. There you go. We're just over 120 seconds left on it. 24.47 I think would be what we're looking for. 23.76, so dead to start with. I really hope it's not going to be a ball ache to catch. So let's just get this caught as quickly as we can do. Enamorous in Pokemon Go with... I don't know. It's the love-hate Pokemon, which is kind of hysterical. It shouldn't be a too difficult X, and there we go. Easy X and throw to hit. So we could get a Spinder task done. It's going to come into the Pokedex in the Hisui region. Flying Fairy type. There we go. With the snake around his neck and the headpiece like me. That was actually quite a good idea by Martin. <laughs> so there we go. This one, as we know, is pretty dead two-star. But let's go straight to the next raid. Second one taken down with fair ease. And 2446. No, 2346. Why did I say 24? Literally 100 CP off. <laughs> 24.47. So I was like, one CP off the hundo? No way. But no, it's not. So you've got a good one. I'm 101 CP off the hundo. So this could be a 10, 10, 10, maybe. I do need to charge my phone. Don't worry about that. First ball catch, though. All right, let's quickly check. There's another one up there that we can do. And we may be able to get a fourth. Yeah, it's the 69%. How appropriate for Valentine's Day. Earlier, I, I forgot I hadn't got a tier three mega, but we maxed out, having got 296 rare XL candy, Deancey from GoFest 2023 London has been maxed to level 50 at long last. So that's the prime counter, to be honest, for this. It's just a shame it's not tier three mega. So to the next raid. Okay, jumping into raid number three, hitting ready. There we go. So let's see if we can actually get something decent. There was a 98 -er. I'll have a few spare to do trades if people really, really want to get the decks. Patience pays off in this game, very regularly. Anyway, the game thinks that using Rayquaza versus a Fairy-type Legendary is a really good idea. Watch this. <laughs> insta-kill. That was a little bit closer, only four accounts for that one, and 60 or so seconds on that. 24.34, that's actually okay, this might be a 93 or a 96, which I'm very content with. One rare XL candy, and a Poffin! I saw the number correctly, I think, this time. Yeah, 24.34, that's a good 13 CP off of that 100 percenter. Maybe the pink London's World t-shirt, blinded by the pinkness, is bringing some luck. Ping. Hit it in the side of its eye, and the side eye shot is the way to go. Fantastic. So let's check it. I think it might be a 96 or a 93. 96. It's a good 96 as well. That is solid. I wonder if we're going to be able to squeeze another one in. Let's see. It may have to go back to Ealing for a 1 p.m. one, but. Right, we managed to make another one on the power of petrol. So, 2382 again, very poor on that one. So, off in rare XL candy. So, the rewards for in person raids for elite raids are a little bit more premium, but let's just see if we can get this one caught easily. And yeah, 2382, that's perfect lucky trade kind of fodder. We're in a tight quarters in this little field. 
hit the excellence on it. We can get down to Gunnersbury to hit one that's at one of the, the uh, gyms there for 1pm, but there are not many 1pm raids across the whole of Ealing. There's about four. What do you want from me? I have poffins. I have poffins and poke coins for you. There's the catch. Beautiful. Just a bit of um, light persuasion. Is all that's required. Three more XL candy, and we know this one's very dead indeed. But campfire, we can see there's a lot. There's only one more here, ending at 145. Jeez, that was a stress-filled last raid. Just done five minutes, 2447. Ah, wait, is that the hundo? I don't know. I don't remember. Is that the hundo? Is it 2457? I. Hang on. Have we got a hundo? Oh my god, I need to check the infographic. Pokedaxi's infographic. Oh my god, we have a hundo. Weather boosted hundo. Final raid. No way. Oh my god. I'm actually shaking. No. You're... <laughs> I tell you, the story behind this raid got here. For some reason, the signal's been really iffy. It took me 10 minutes to get into the game and reset it, and a first ball catch on a hundo. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. What the, what on earth? Oh my God. I'm actually speechless. Hundo enamorous in Pokemon Go. I was fully expecting that 96 we got earlier, I was fully expecting that to be the thing we were gonna get, the best IV. 100%er. <laughs> I'm actually shaking. <laughs> Let's wrap this video up because there's no more rage we can go and do in this local area. I wanna see if maybe we can nab one at 5 p.m. but I've gotta go and pack for LA Sinnoh Tour. So if you enjoyed this video, please, please go and smash that like button and hit the subscribe button if you are new as well. Come on, unbelievable. Anyway, wrapping up the video. These guys on the rolling credits at the end of every single one of the videos we do here on the channel, these are the people, the Patreon squad, who continue to make this a possibility. So thank you so very much for all of your contributions, and I'm going to see so many of you out in LA for Sinnoh Tour. I, I'm very nervous. There was a little cock up with the um, Esther and new passport number. I'm hoping that's fixed by the time I get home after doing these raids. But geez, LA is coming up and we've just bagged a hundo in Amaris. That's astonishing. So until the next time, which will very likely be Friday with the very first city gameplay experience out in LA on the Hop On Hop Off bus with the squad. I'm gonna say. Let me know if you nab the Enamorous today, and if not, don't worry, it will be here in regular raids probably in the next six to 12 months. I've got a couple of spare to trade as well. So until the next time, I'm gonna say, do take care.